Are you ready? I am ready to take on the Spartan Nobby. In this video, you will find out if I can extract valuable gems out of this rough, huge opal. Will they be black, dark, crystal? Will the Spartan Nobby defeat me and I will lose all my money? I will use all my skills to maximize the value of this rare opal and watch till the end to find out the results. I'm going straight in into this 240 carat Nobby. Uh, somebody said it looks like a clam. It probably is a clam with all that sand in there. Um, so I can't say it for 100%, but it's a pretty good suggestion. 100 million year old clam, eh? So I'm just looking if that color bar is going to go any further, but I probably, yeah, I, I think I'm gonna have to cut it up because I don't wanna waste the black pochi up because I might get some backing. Like that part of that stone is um, uh, very pochi. So I might get that uh, poch for, you know, doublets. See, that's, that's okay. So I'm just gonna take the top off there a little bit. But I think we're gonna have to go and slice it. And um, I'll go and do that and save some of that black pot onto that corner of the stone for the day. All right. I reckon that's it. Okay, you probably still hear the humming of the saw. Four pieces. That's what I ended up with four pieces now we've got this which was the top with the sand let's see what this cleans up to something but it's gonna show the sand I mean I can go from this side and maybe clean it up I actually don't know what I'm gonna do with this piece yet I've got this one, which is the possible black opal here. So we're gonna go and clean, take the top off and clean it up, bring that in. Now that's gonna be interesting. Then we've got this, which is that black pouch. It's nothing, there's a little bit of color here. So I just have a look if there is any opal there. It doesn't, it's not too bright. So I don't think there is much here. And then we've got this beauty, which you can see the black pouch. How good is that? I'm going to have to slice this in half because of the sand pieces here and then bring it in the machine. So I'm going to make, I'm going to make this a half a, another piece. So I'll go and slice that. And then we start working on them and see what we can make this is a nice color there's also that sand piece obviously that has to go so i'm gonna have to bring it in all right wow i'll just slice that in half and then we start grinding okay so this one uh straight forward we're gonna get to that little corner with the color so i'm gonna speed it up and uh show you at the end what it is okay let's do that put some music on
this one worked out. That's sand. Got rid of the sand. Oh, it's a bit fuzzy. Look, it's got nice color. It's gray. Um, some value. I'm happy. Didn't get onto the black, so it's gray, dark, opal, greens and blues. Uh, just need to be cleaned up. All right. Let's grab the other piece. So this one is that piece that uh, I had real hope for, for the black opal. Um, could surprise and maybe become the best piece of the Spartan Nobby, but I think uh, it's a challenge. It's a big challenge. So I'm gonna go in, bring it in, see if I can expose the colors all around. Um, might speed up speed that one up too and uh, then have a look uh, closer towards the end uh, so yeah back for some music still thinking you know there's a lot of thought that goes into it and you know you can see the sand underneath um, everywhere it's not gonna make a huge piece but I'm hoping a couple of carrots of black opal would be nice with with bright color um but look how much sand there is so anyway i'll um put some music on otherwise this video will just take way too long because there's so many pieces and so much work into this one knobby clam spartan knobby um so all right that's it i'm gonna shut up and uh put some music on This is what I brought in. So it is black opal. It's very black. It's got color. It's got nice thick color by there. The sand, the left, the sand that's left doesn't really affect the finish because you can't see it through. And there is a little bit of red underneath there. And I'm a little bit afraid to go in there because I don't want to lose the top. So I've got to think about this one and the other pieces. So let's go back, have a look at what we've got and analyze the pieces that we've got left. So it's never ending Spartan, hey? So many things. So this, let's focus better here, I think, but you can see. So still decisions, black opal, Beautiful greens, All right? But the decision is, I don't know if you can see it, maybe you can put the light a little bit better here for you, but there is a, a red bar underneath, which the video doesn't really show. So I don't know if I should go any deeper. So that's a decision. Oh yeah, there it is. See, and it actually runs through the other side too. There is this scent, but it won't affect it because it's there's a color there, see? So that one, I'm still deciding if I should just put on the dopstick and finish it. You can see a little bit of orange red and not go any deeper, not risk it. Well, this one was easy, right? That worked out well, but the decision here, that's an easy decision too. I slice it down there 
and make an opal on this side and this side. Just getting rid of, there might be three in here, but just get rid of the sandy bits here. So to bring it in, and I think logically slicing it there makes it sand close to the edges so I don't lose too much color. I can just bring it in and get rid of that. So I'm thinking going that way. And I'm not sure if I make a one big piece, I'll probably just two pieces. This one is darker, so this is gonna be one here, one there, and one there. So a lot of value in this one, but this one, which you think is nothing, but look at that. So there's a lot of possibilities. So I drew the lines here on just, why did I draw these lines? Where I look where the sand is underneath, right? But I'll also look where there's color on, on possibly black or dark porch. So you can see there is a color there and there's a porch there. So I'm thinking there could be something here. There is definitely an opal in there because this part doesn't have sand in it, right? So, and from here, there is a sand there. So that's not gonna really work, but there is this color in there. It might be sitting on this black. See, in there, somewhere. So I think if I slice it here next to the sand, I end up with having this here exposed. Let's see, there's a color there, and there might be some color on the black. And also, there's a bit of color here, so if I slice it also in there, then I've got possibility of maybe something in there. I wouldn't hold my breath for this one, but you just never know what you're gonna expose. And look at that beautiful electric blue-green there. So there could be just another one on the edge here. I mean, this is still half of that knobby. So, hey, this is a pretty good value so far. I'm getting pretty good stones definitely pay for it. So if you look at that, I mean, this color is magnificent. And there'd be two or three big stones here. So, all right, okay. Let's keep going. See what, with this one, there is more to analyze seeds. So it is, if I did this video, it could take hours, because that's long, how long it's taking me to analyze some of this. So it's not just the sand. There's also the porch. See how the porch is black in there. We're not going to get a color on that. As you can see, this is dry now, by the way. And sometimes getting it dry is good because you can see some things clearer, like the sand, sometimes the porch. So you can see it's getting lighter here and darker there. You can see it on this and that color gets darker. So by slicing it here, drawing a line, I've got this, uh, you know, I'll be able to get rid of the sand, just bring it in there, bring that in there, and then just bring this in here. That sand is going into the color and that color bar here, you can see it's very, very thin. It's just sitting on top, so I can't really go, in, go after the sand, and it's a beautiful color. It's very bright. And here, it looks like it might, I put a little bit water, it might have a little bit deeper color, but there is not much blackness here. So I'm thinking if I slice it here, I'll make one stone here, and because this is darker, it's gonna be darker, but smaller. If I do one big one, then it's going to be different shape. It's not really going to be oval or round. And this is going to be gray. And this is going to be probably in full black. So, and don't be fooled by the lights. I mean, this white lights make everything lighter. Um, but this is quite dark, mind you, if you look at the real black watches here. But there you can see the darkness. So, look, 
It might not be black here, opal at the end, but it's going to be much darker than this. So I'm thinking one stone here, one stone there, and another one here. So three out of this piece. But I thought I'd show you just my process of thinking behind it and how, you know, it's it's looking at the whole thing and the pot color, see, dark, much lighter here. It's a bit of black there. But unfortunately, we're not getting that black pot here. So there you go. That's what we're going to do with this. All right. I haven't shown much of my soul skill and work or lack of it. You judge it for yourself. But uh, yeah, we're going to slice this exactly how I explained. And... Um, it's actually quite therapeutic to do that, especially with a good blade. And uh, this blade is cutting like butter at the moment. So it's just a six, um, six inch blade, um, 15 mil hole. And it's, yeah, it's a good one. Um, it's cheap, cheap blade too. I can't remember, might've got it from Amazon actually. Um, yeah, if I find the link, I'll put it in the description. And check out my descriptions anyway, because sometimes I put links to products that I've either used or I like um, for you to be able to put purchase, mainly from Amazon these days, but because it's a fast delivery and no issues. Um, and yeah, so there you go. We've got two of those. There's quite a few stones here in the slicing. Oh, sorry about the camera shake. I've touched the camera holder. And I'm using my phone to do this, by the way. Sometimes I use a, a camera, um, which is um, the Sony. I've got a Sony camera, which is pretty cool. But for this, I'm using my iPhone. Just in case you're wondering how I'm getting this. And I might... Oh, I might actually put a link to the camera too, just in case somebody wants to buy it. That camera is amazing, that's everything. Great photos, everything. Um, and I think it's on the discount at the moment. So anyway, uh, don't hold me to it, uh, but in the description from time to time I will have links. They are affiliate links, so I'll make a little few dollars here and there from that if you guys purchase anything. But uh, check it out if you're interested. All right. And... Um, what do we've got? Two more stones here. All right, look at that. Unfortunately, yeah, not on the black porch. Some darker, some lighter. But uh, let's start working on them, bringing them in, getting rid of that sand and see what we end up with. Great. All right, so with all those pieces, it's gonna take forever me cutting them. And I know some of you um, look, this this one is just got the sand there, right? Um, so it's pretty straightforward. There's a thin, I've got to bring in the thin bar on one side and that sand. And that side of that stone's got actually quite a good thick color bar. So, but anyway, I'm going to speed up a lot those ones. And for my member sections, which I've started, um, and it will... Um, cost you a few dollars a month not much but it helps me out a lot so check it in um sorry check it out and um i will put the uncut versions of this if you want longer ones sometimes i put really short versions because uh, you know some people don't have that much time want it really quick others really enjoy it and want to see everything so um become a member to be part of the community uh, check it out click the join button there and um, um, it will show you a video explain the memberships uh, it's pretty cool um, I'll talk some more about it later on but um, with this stone you can see it's dark it's beautiful it's kind of straightforward and I said I'm gonna speed it up but I'm not far from basically uh, finishing this one so I'm just gently touching it and um, I'm on the fine wheel here. There you go. Look, it's beautiful. 
Yeah, it's um, it's dark. It's got good saturation. The sand is coming off. It's gonna make a great jam that one. Um, and yeah, I didn't speed it up, but look, I'm not gonna go all the way to polishing them because that will be another video. I mean, we we're gonna end up here with six, seven, eight, maybe eight stones altogether. So um, I will be just facing them and showing you basically uh, stones ready for top stick and for the final shaping and polishing. Um, and that's gonna take long enough. The next one, I'm, uh, I'm gonna have to speed it up. But with this one, we are just about done, I think. And um, do you think I'm getting good value out of this Spartan Nobby? I'll tell you at the end what I paid for it. And did I make my money or not? Uh, I'm looking pretty good. I'll tell you that much. It's uh, That's a lot of stones that are pretty good quality. So, um, yeah, all right. I think... Uh, I just clean the back up and then uh, we go to the next one which I'll put music on again and speed it up. Wow, that's good. I like this one. Oh, maybe my favorite. All right, so this one, uh, look, I took it on the other wheel and um, I just cleaned it up a little bit and now just fine a touch but this other piece as you can see very easy just a little bit of sand it's not the brightest this one and it's not uh, the darkest either so that's the light colored one but still a gem still you know maybe three hundred dollars worth of an opal it's decent size we'll have a look at the end of that so now we've got two so far of, of our card look at the dark one it's beautiful isn't it wow lightning ridge black opal and a dark one all right what else we've got all right this one um screaming for a cushion card and it's a nice one too it's got great color saturation and in this one it's got um nice and thick color bar as well which you'll see um, in a minute but I'm just gonna bring it in square it up and beautiful cushion cut another few hundred dollars here it's gray it's it's dark gray not quite black but uh, but it's nice and you can see it's got yeah beautiful pattern and it's got thick color bar so it's a good one I like it I like it I am very happy with this pattern I reckon I won I, I just do I think this pattern has not defeated me all the sand and everything around it there is quite a few stones we're getting here way to you hear what I pay Rob for it I mean it was risky and you know sometimes they just doesn't pay off all right what's next all right no this has got the sand it's got the black and it's got some color in there look but sand so what I might do is actually use Dremel I will use Dremel later on on it I see if I can get the sand out with the Dremel because if I keep going down I might get rid of good opal all right and now we are okay this is a color there nice thick on that side that's gonna come in okay might get something out of this one all right so after bringing bringing that in there's a little bit of sand left so I speed it up and I turn it to a little bit of a shape clean it up and show you at the end let's put some music on
so I'll, I shaped it to a round bead. It's going to have a nice um, dome on it, but it's not too bright. So, but it's a stone. It's got a little bit red in there, a little bit uh, blue. You know, it's kind of that gray, light gray, crystally jelly opal. Still got value, and it's quite risen. So, all right. And now another one. What have we got here? Okay, we've got this one. So sand again in there and sand right in the middle there. Oh, but there's black and that little color on the black there. What can this give? See the red? Oh, boom. Wow. That's very interesting. But sand, look. I keep looking at them, I keep telling you how difficult this is, the analysis of such a diverse, huge opal. Just um, cleaned it up a bit, had um, more of a look at it and look at the darkness. And uh, that thick calabar from here looks so good. And that there's a little, little, little calabar underneath because that thick calabar from the side, it's just the jelly crystal that's got all the sand showing underneath. So there is always that thing about making inlay. But look, I'm looking at this and I just want to take it further and further so I'm gonna let go of the inlay idea and I'm just gonna sh keep shaping working on it see what we get maybe we can get see there could be a little stone there that's the only one that it's no sand and it's got nice thick color bar but yeah let me work on it. so all right I've just I uh, shaped it a bit, kept going. That sand is still there, as you can see. I made it round. And um, I'm not sure. I reckon there is still an opal in there. Look at that color there. But can you see all the sand? One, two, three. And bits and pieces everywhere. Um, but there is still this butt underneath that. See, it could sit on the black. Mm, still not sure. I don't know what to do with it. I'm going to take the Dremel piece next. And then the one that we put away to Dremel that sand from sand, sorry, from the middle. Oh, I can see the red. Look, yeah, 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 yeah. Color looks so great. And the bloody sand, 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 sand is not our friend. Too much thinking, my head hurts. All right, so getting the sand out with the Dremel, there's no color underneath or anything. So there's two little bits on each side of that groove and that sand. And whoa, the Dremel sounds like a mozzie, doesn't it? Or oh, annoying fly. Uh, but it's a great tool. And I put the description to the Amazon link if you want to buy it. It's like, you know, under a hundred dollars, like I don't know, 70, 80, 90 dollars changes depending on the seller and the price. But I put a link in there for you because it's just for the money, it's a great tool. What is it? It's 20, 2050, that's what it is. Yeah, there you go. Have a look at the description. And um, I'll cut this in the middle, and um, there's two little little stones chips they go in my vials usually because uh, mind you they might be you know 0 0.3 0 0.4 carats each have a look at the end i weigh them with the rest of the stones um but yeah there's not much in it and my vials have pieces like this sometimes so they're great and they sell very quickly i put five of them i can't make enough of them and they sold straight away so there is none available at the moment but i'll make some more soon um and this is the at the end that pouch that I cut off and I just tried to clean it up but it's not cleaning completely black it just shows you you know you never know what's inside the opal so it's not gonna do a very good packing so a bit of a waste of the wheels there there was no color that's the last piece that we cut out 
All right, so I don't know where to start. We've got quite a few. This uh, Spartan Nobby has given us quite a few stones. I'm very happy with the results. And thank you, Rob, from Robbie's Nobbies. And I say look him up on the Facebook, um, in the socials, because the Opal is good value from Rob, and he will help you out with what you need. He did uh, help me. That big Spartan Nobby, which um, one of you mentioned that it's a clam and I think you might be right. It looks like a clam. It's got this, it looked like a clam, I should say, before I slice it. It has um, that shape and it's got full sand inside. So it's a hundred million year old Spartan clam, possibly. Um, I agree with that statement actually, but I'm not hundred percent. So 1200 bucks, that's what I paid for it. Plus he's threw a couple of extras as well, which is uh, good value. Look, sometimes you've got to pay more, but sometimes you've got to pay less. So the more you buy from Rob, uh, the more he's going to probably look after you. That's how it goes with uh, the sellers and the miners. Um, and depending on what's going on in their life, when they need some more money, when they have some more money. So, But one thing is for sure, what you pay for, it's going to be an honest opal from Rob, so look him up. Um, now, so this one is, to be honest, probably nothing, because you can see the sand. So that was the top jelly crystal. We got something else out of it, but that's the big piece. Now, I've gone down, cleaned it up, and you can see the color bar. Now, I am leaving it the way it is and if any of you think that you can teach us something on the opal here on my oz opal channel and can actually create an opal out of it and i think you might be able to hear just this spot here see there but if you are if you back yourself with some skill See, there is color here as well. I am willing to send you this in exchange for um, you showing us what you would do with it, what you will do with it. So if you're keen, let me know. Just contact me probably through my email address, which is attached to my channel. Or you can... Uh, link yourself up with me through the Oz Opal store. So anyway, I'm leaving it the way it is. If nobody wants to have a go and shoot a video with this, because it might not be nothing, I might do that. But for now, I'm leaving it here. It's about 11 carats, and that's what it is. And now the rest, all right? So firstly, we've got these two little ones that came from this piece that I dremel. And I usually put them in the vials because they're more like chips. And this, you know, not much color, just a little bit. They're not stones. My vials sell out so quick. I've just put five on the other day, all sold. I've got to make new ones. So sometimes they've got things like this, which are pretty cool. So they're good value. Uh, so there you go. And that one is black. They're very little. I mean, we're talking, I've got the scale next to me. We're talking about one carat together. That one is probably 0 0.6, that one is 0.4. So yeah, uh, look, they they can be stones. I might actually turn them into stones. So anyway, that's, you know, a little value. Then the other jelly piece, which has a good, um, dumb on it and it can make it will make a nice cap but it's not the brightest you can see there see there is red but it's just in there so and there's a little bit of that black webbing but that's black so it just makes it look actually pretty nice so there is you know three four hundred dollars here 
3 carats. It's 3.5, but you know it's wet. And some of those things are still going to come up. So probably going to be 2.7, something like that. A nice little gem. Then we've got this one, which is beautiful gray. And I look, I wasn't going to polish it. The video would be too long. There was so much work in this. I've spent so long analyzing and cutting. There is a seven carats here. Obviously, it's still thick, so it's going to be more like three at the end of it. Um, look, look up my store because I'll be selling a lot of rubs. They're like good quality, ready to finish for you guys to practice your finishing and polishing skills or putting in the jewelry because I can't keep up. I can't keep cutting them. There's not enough time with the channel. And um, yeah, that's why I started memberships. And you guys, if you can help me, there's perks in memberships. There's discounts on the stores, on my store and the Opal, 10, 15% on silver and gold member. Just go to my channel, click join, and it will show you a video explaining the memberships. It's a few dollars a, day, um, a month but it will really help me out producing the content because I'm spending pretty much full time doing this and I want to get better, you know, to deliver value. I want to connect in more intimate space with chats and, and special videos, uncut footage, bit of jokes. So those who are willing to be here for the long run, the OGs you will be because it's a small channel. I want to make it bigger. Just, Go and join. It's um, you can cancel any time, and there's no obligation. And of course, you don't have to join. I will keep producing the content anyway. But there'll be a lot of special things, and um, also charity donations, which you can influence. You can influence my content and videos. It'd be fun. I mean, I'm still novice at it, so let's see if I handle it well. But uh, already got some members in there. Only did it a couple of days ago, so. All right, so this one, you know, that's a few hundred dollars worth, nice green, gray opal. Then we've got another grayish that's got a better color situ uh, saturation and it's, it's um, a little bit darker, still not black. You can see the poch black is there, but mostly it's gray, dark, not black. So that is two carats, so 2.3. It's gonna end up probably being 1.8. All right. Um, then we've got this beautiful cushion cut. That's gonna be, look, still got nice thick color bar, ready to clean up. Look at that, not black, dark, you know, and, and, and six probably and five um, but look very nice 2.6 carats and it's almost done so it's probably gonna be you know 2.4 cleaned up then we've got this one and this is a black opal I know it doesn't look too dark here but it is definitely your N3 and it's got beautiful color. It's still a little bit thick, so it needs to be cleaned up as well. But that's 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 a good one. And that's 3.8. So it's probably gonna be two and a half. So there's a thousand bucks. That that's a knobby price, just about here. The Spartan one, the clan price, just in one, and look how many we've got. And the last one, which is that black bit that was that attracted me to it in the first place. Look at that. That is your N2. It's um it's got reds. Look, it's still got see nice beautiful green color bar on one side. This one is a bit thin here. There is still a red thing in there, but I just don't want to go any further. Look at that. That's beautiful. It's not too big, but it is 2.2, so maybe 1.8. The sand is just there. It doesn't affect the look once it goes in the jewelry. Beautiful. So look, there is a couple of grand here as well. So overall, mate, what a great value. Thanks, Rob.
I mean, it paid for the work, which is something that a lot of Opal doesn't for the hours. I spent a long time on that one piece. I know it's because of the video and you guys, but this was hard work, but so much fun learning about all these different things in one Opal or a clam. And this still needs work. So look, even without that, I mean, there is three to four grand here, maybe more of Opal. And yeah, and this one fun. Who wants to have a go at this one? Let me know. And don't forget, I still need subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, click, hit that button, give me a like, comment, get involved. Check out the memberships and uh, join me for more of this uh, Opal buffoonerism that we're doing here. And uh, yeah, let's let's see what I come up next. Maybe you have suggestions, put it in the comments. All right. Operation, big success, I think. I hope you learned something.